subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get latest notification. Assalamu alaikum students. Today our topic is spherical lenses. So I would write here spherical lenses. Before going to the definition of spherical lenses, we must know what lens is. What lens is? Lens is simply a material having some refractive index. A material especially or generally transparent material having some refractive index having some refractive index or we can say a lens is a medium a lens is a medium having some refractive index so when the light would travel through this uh, material lens it would get refracted so lens is simply a material a transparent material having some refractive index or you can simply treat it as a medium the lens is made up of glass so that's why i wrote here transparent medium so lens is simply a piece of glass having some refractive index now the same lens we are talking about the lens now the same definition but this lens is now bounded by two spherical surfaces. A transparent material, a piece of glass that is bound by two spherical surfaces. What does that, that mean it is bound by two spherical surfaces? For example, if I am making a medium out of glass, this. This is also a lens, but if I make this lens, in such a way such that its surfaces are like this. So the surface on both the sides is little a little bulged out. So this bulged out surface is known as spherical surface. So this is a transparent material having some refractive index bound by two spherical surfaces or I can draw this like this. This is also a lens, a piece of transparent material having some refractive index bound by two spherical surfaces. So lens, spherical lenses are those lenses that are bound by two spherical surfaces. Now based on the uh, spherical surface, the lenses have been classified into two types. First is convex lens. Convex lens. Convex lens is those uh, are those lenses which are bound by two spherical surfaces such that it is thick at the middle, thick at the middle, and thin at the edges. It's the definition based on its shape. Spherical. We are talking about spherical lenses and. In the spherical lenses, we are discussing convex lens. A convex lens is that lens that is bound by two spherical surfaces such that it is thick at the middle and thin at the edge. Here it is thin, thinner than the middle. Fine. But what is its property? Technically, what is a convex lens? It is that lens when the rays of light are passed through this lens, when the rays of light are passed through this lens, they get converged after passing through the lens. Once the rays of light pass through this lens, they get converged. And that's why it's called as converging lens. It's called as converging lens. So simply I would say a convex lens is that lens where from the rays of light get converged after passing through the lens such that it is thick at the middle and thin at the edges. Or you can write the definition, a convex lens is that lens which is thin at the edges and thick at the mid middle such that when the rays of light pass through this lens, they get converged. So convex lens converges the rays of light. That's why it is called as converging lens. Now the other type of lens. 
कॉन्केव लेंस कॉन्केव लेंस कॉन्केव लेंस इज दैट लेंस विच इज बाउंड बाई टू स्पैरिकल सर्फेसिस सच दैट इट इज थिक एट द एज थिक एट एज एंड थिनर एट द मिडल or thinner at center so it's also a spherical lens it is bound by two spherical surfaces but it is thick at the edge and thin at the middle so i am drawing this lens but when i pass the rays of light through this lens in comparison to concave convex lens these rays of light get diverged in different directions these rays of light get diverged in different directions after passing through the lens so when the rays of light are passed through the concave lens they get diverged in different directions that's why it is called as diverging lens diverging lens so concave lens is that lens which is bound by two spherical surfaces such that it is thin thick at the edge and thin at the middle Uh, and when the rays of light are passed through this lens they get diverged in different directions so concave lens is simply that uh, is also called as diverging lens because it diverges the rays of light when they pass through the lens fine so spherical lenses are those lenses which are bound by two spherical surfaces such that we have two types of lenses based on their property we have two types of lenses one is known as convex lens that is thin at the edge is thick at the middle and it converges the rays of light while as we have other type of lens known as concave lens which diverges the rays of light and based on this it's also called as diverging lens now <coughs> principal focus of concave and convex lens principal focus principal focus the principal focus of a convex lens principal focus of a convex lens is that point on the principal axis of the lens where the rays of light get converged after passing through the lens i'll explain the rays of light are coming from the object such that they are parallel to principal axis fine the rays of light are coming from any object such that they are parallel to principal axis once they pass through this lens once they pass through this lens they get converged as it's a convex lens they get converged and after getting converged these rays of light meet at a common point meet at a common point on the principal axis of the lens this common point is known as principal focus of convex lens principal focus of convex lens so what is principal focus of a convex lens it is simply a point on the principal axis of the lens where the rays of light get converged where the rays of light get converged after passing through the lens fine <coughs> so we can say when the rays of light are incident on the lens in such a way that they are parallel to principal axis of the lens after passing through the lens these rays of light get converged as it's a convex lens and these rays of light converge meet at a common point on the principal axis of the lens and that common point is known as principal focus so principal focus of a convex lens is that point where the rays of light get converged after passing through the lens fine okay now principal focus of a concave lens principal focus of a concave lens as we know the convex lens diverges the rays of light <coughs> the con uh, concave lens diverges the rays of light so when the rays of light are incident on the lens in such a way that they are parallel to principal axis 
or we can say the rays of light are coming from a common point like this the rays of light are coming from a common point like this fine now after passing through the lens these rays of light are getting diverged in different directions these rays of light would get diverged in different directions similarly as in the uh, convex lens we discussed that after passing through the lens they get converged but here when the rays of light when the rays of light pass through the lens they are parallel to principal axis of the lens after passing through the lens they get diverged in different directions fine when the rays of light are incident on the lens in such a way that they are parallel to principal axis of the lens after passing through the lens they get diverged in different directions this is the principal axis the rays of light are parallel to principal axis and after passing through the lens they get diverged in different directions it appears to me that these rays of light these refracted rays of light have came out from a common point this it appears to me that these refracted rays of light have spread out from a common point like this my hand is that common point and my fingers are refracted rays see isn't it this is the ray of light this is the ray of light so it appears to me that these rays of light have came out from a common point have got diverged from a common point from the principal axis of the lens this common point this common point where from the rays of light get diverged where from the rays of light get diverged or actually appears to diverge remember they are not actually diverging from this point it appears to us that these rays of light as if they have come out from a common point and got spread in different directions or got diverged in different directions that point where from the rays of light appear to diverge from a common point on the principal axis of the lens that common point is known as principal focus of concave lens principal focus of concave lens so principal focus of a concave lens is simply that point on the principal axis of the lens where from the rays of light appear to diverge where from the rays of light appear to diverge when the rays of light are incident on the lens in such a way that they are parallel to principal axis of the lens after passing through the lens they got diverged in different directions since it's a concave lens and it diverges the rays of light so after getting diverged in different directions it appears to me that these rays of light these diverged rays of light have came out from a common point fine this common point on the principal axis where from the rays of light appear to diverge where from the rays of light appear to diverge that common point is known as principal focus of a concave lens fine okay so this is about the spherical lenses and the types of spherical lenses the converging lens and the diverging lens concave lens is called as conver sorry diverging lens while as convex lens is called as converging lens and then we discussed the principal focus so principal focus of of a convex lens is that point on principal axis where the rays of light get converged fine principal focus of a concave lens is that point on the principal axis where from the rays of light appear to diverge fine so this is the principal focus and focal length of concave and convex lens now we would uh, discuss the image its image formation actually the characteristics of image position nature and size of the image with the help of mirror formula which we will discuss inshallah in next lecture